Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mentor Asia Pacific. I'm Avin Sangha, I'm your host for the show today, and today we are at Coffee Slut interviewing Jeff Ijad. So you may know him as a local artist, and hopefully we get to hear about his story today. Nice to be on the show, brother. I don't know. So let's start with um, share one thing that most people might not know about you. Um, I listen to more podcasts than music. <laughs> Any favorite podcasts that you listen to right now? Um, a lot of it, they're um, kind of spiritual yeah. and uh, just more insights about like our society and uh, it's very random. Um, sometimes it's uh, with Alan Watts, um, Satguru, uh, stuff like that. Uh, where, do you, where do you usually go for your podcast? What's your favorite medium to kind of get in that? Yeah, sometimes I, 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 I like to go to uh, YouTube a lot more. Okay. Um, and then sometimes Spotify. Um, yeah, Spotify. Sweet, sweet, sweet. No, I'm, I'm in the whole podcast thing, so I listen in the car on my drive. So I, I work at Navy. Yeah. Um, so on the drive there, I listen to podcasts. Sometimes better than music. Yeah, you sure. get, you get You get more out of it. Um, okay, sweet. So. Podcasts, that's kind of a new movement right now, um, but what's your story, man? What, what, how'd you get into art and what's the new thing that you're going through right now? I got into art. Um, I, I grew up in, a, in a, a long line of artists. My grandfather was an artist, um, mostly sculptures. Yep. Um, and then um, I have uh, aunties and uncles that kind of were in, uh, they did embroidery and um, other forms of art. Um, I have an uncle that does gravestones, so that's a cool one too, so yeah, um, and then with art, I just, I don't know, it was kind of something that made me realize it's like, an, it's my escape, you know, uh, things that I can't articulate with other people, I can articulate with myself at least, you know, I mean, and it just, it's something for myself, and yeah, that's how I kind of just kept to it. It's just, it's something, it's almost like a personal diary that you can keep for yourself. Uh, and then for the future, uh, I'm working on 100 pieces wow. for 2019, hopefully. 100 pieces, yeah. 100. So, where, <laughs> so how are you laying that out, brother? Talk, talk to me about these 100 pieces. Like um, since 2017, I have so much notes on what I wanted to create, and there are a lot of projects that I still haven't um, touched on. So it's just me going back to all the way back from 2017, all my ideas from 2017, mm -hmm. and just kind of really um, putting in reality and really start start painting, you know? So um, I do have a lot of ideas, a big list of ideas, and mm -hmm. I just need to just get it on paper. Um, it's just been, I was kind of in a, uh, pause because I just had a kid, okay. but now that my kid's kind of growing up a little bit, I'm able to kind of uh, manipulate my time a little bit better. So hopefully 2019 at least try to hit 80, but my end goal is 100. 100, 100. So all of these are going to be paintings. Are they large, small? What are we looking at? Um, a few illustrations and probably like I haven't. Painted anything big in a while, so uh, I think I'm gonna probably do like um, eight to ten big pieces. Okay. That's a little bit more than uh, my standard paper size that I've been kind of doing. Mm -hmm. The reason why I've been doing the paper size is because I have a kid. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this past year, you actually had your one of your pop-ups here at Coffee Slip, right? Yeah. Um, prior to that, what do you think the movement is in the art scene here? Um, what's happening here? Oh man, um, I feel like there, there's such a big shift in confidence. Um, um, in the past probably 10 years that I've uh, been part of GAX, I started GAX, so. Mm -hmm. uh, and then instead of uh, people kind of doubting themselves, they kind of have a, like, oh man, I know I can do that. Or I've, you know what I mean? Especially with the foundation of GAX, they can get to see like, oh, I, I, I do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of gives them the, the an ease to be like, oh, okay, I I can be an artist too, or I, I actually am an artist, but you know, I mean, gaining the confidence to actually put yourself out there is mm -hmm. something that, that I kind of seen grow in the past 10 years, and I'm very happy with what um, 
what we're, uh, everybody's doing and then like um, like just the art scene period is just kind of it's just booming right now mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm man like being around when I was um, maybe 14 or 16 mm -hmm. there was hardly anyone posting anything okay. and then uh, even when I did post it was just like or like um, you get into a gallery that you really wanted to go to mm -hmm. Um, that was contemporary. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in bars, mm -hmm. and that's like, you know, what I mean, it's very hard to kind of uh, go in. I was like 16. It was a car. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you gotta pretend you're 18. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, uh, yeah. I think my first art show was actually at Lifehouse oh, when okay. I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. And I wasn't even allowed to go in. <laughs> like all the artists is outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh man. Okay, cool. All right, all right. So with with the growth of kind of the art scene, what let's go look back a little bit. What are what were some of the struggles that you had kind of putting your art out there here on wall? Uh, I guess one of the struggles I I, I feel like um, with the art is um, my uh, a lot of my content. You know, what I mean, I was um, I had to figure out a way to kind of uh, tone it down because. It, it, I do deal with a lot of intense subjects, yeah. you know, um, with it, some of them are very political, some of them are very uh, sexual, and then to kind of personify those ideas and kind of uh, change into different metaphors, mm -hmm. um, I think that's one of the struggles that I had. And then also too, like, uh, with the acceptance with the public for that. Okay. But then again, it's just like, uh, I always had to remind myself that they're a reflection of my humanity. Mm -hmm. And if I don't, and if I just, kind of push off uh, part of the reflection of my humanity is not going to be as true, you know, so. Yeah. Right on, right on. Um, so you talk about a little bit about your humanity and what you've been putting out as being like, you know, fairly out there and people might not be willing to accept your art. Um, I guess what, what made you push against that barrier and kind of like now that you're, you're kind of just putting it all out there? It goes back to the things that I've been listening to, like podcasts. Okay. Even, even, yeah, I've been like listening to a lot of these things and reading stuff. Um, fairly, like, uh, you know, I guess being an adult, you know what I mean? I guess when you turn into an adult and then you kind of, um, you're trying to figure out your life, you kind of go start reading things. And then one of the things is um, that I got was, you know, I mean, you only have one life. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, whatever I read, yeah, yeah. it's more of like you only have one life, and if you don't, um, if you don't put everything out there, then at the very end of your life, you're gonna be in regret. You know, you don't want to ever be there in your deathbed and just kind of regret mm -hmm. whatever you should have done. You know, what I mean? that whole uh, rather be sorry than not have done it at all. Yep, yep. No, I agree. I definitely agree with that. Um, it's kind of the reason why I'm putting this out there. Uh, and I would have never thought to be on, on a camera set up like this, brother. Like six yeah. months ago, no way. Um, so going into kind of where you're at with your struggles and like putting your art out there, I know there are probably people that pushed you and supported you and said, you know, you could do this. Um, you want to name some of those mentors and how they kind of pushed you forward? Uh, <clears throat> I started out with, the, I guess, um, my teacher in high school. Um, She's actually the first one to kind of make me think of uh, art as a serious thing instead of just kind of a personal kind of a uh, thing for myself. Um, and then, uh, and she, then yeah, sadly she passed away the moment I graduated. Mm. Uh, and then um, after that, I, I believe the guys that kind of helped me push um, the art scene and helped me even produce gags is probably Judah Donna Baker. Um, definitely um, showed me my uh, my worth as an artist. You know what I mean? They're actually one of the first guys to actually collect my work and kind of, you know what I mean, buy, mm -hmm. buy stuff. Um, and then like when we, I had the idea for, um, you know, or, or kind of a rant about how uh, there's no contemporary art and it was kind of embarrassing for, for me to be sitting uh, somewhere and then a tourist telling me that, uh, you know, this is the first time I've ever seen art. I thought Guam was just a big shopping mall. Mm. That was just a big slap in the face and kind of like, 
man, we need to do this. And yep. so that's why, that's where kind of gas kind of came up. And then, uh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah just, no, 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 I like that. Sure. I, like, I like how you um, kind of internalize that, that, that one comment and you're like, man, dude, you gotta do something in yeah, this kind of movement. Exactly. Um, no, and I, I was, I guess I was there for the first yeah. Yeah, I was in the store. In yeah, the store, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was a lot of fun, and to see where it's at now, that's that's a very big. <laughs> yeah, we, but yeah, man. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, and then um, all these artists that I'm, I'm seeing now, it's good to see this here on Guam. Um, when I was in California, you know, every week there's there's something going on, and they're like spread out. You can see different types of works. There's even word art, um, you know, poetry slams and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So there's different forms that are hopefully going to be available to us more often here on Guam. Um, so let's think. 10 years back, man. If you were to give yourself advice 10 years ago on either how to speed things up or change the movement here on Guam, what would it be? Hmm. You know, I guess I've always had this belief of uh, never forcing anything. So, um, and I kind of like the process of how um, everything kind of affects things. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't actually give myself advice. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and it's more of like a, I think with all the things that I've gone through and all the, the, the ideas that I'm going through and all the uh, um, subjects that I've been playing on with um, with my uh, with my art, mm -hmm. I think if I gave myself advice, it would kind of tear away from what I'm working on now. Okay. Because it's a reflection of, uh, like I said, it's a, every time I think about like what am I going to be painting, mm -hmm. it's, it should always be a reflection of my humanity. Okay. And I think I'll tear away from that if, if I kind of gave myself an advice to kind of mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, you need to start doing this. Well, well I love the fact that how it's like, um, um, it's very uh, natural for things to kind of happen eventually. And, yep. and there's this belief that I have, it's just like, it's not, um, it's just a matter of time yep. and then eventually it'll get there and mm -hmm. I think if I kind of like oh man make sure that you start if I give myself an advice of yep. take art seriously here mm -hmm. I don't think I would have the same subjects okay. as I would have today okay. <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad at all and, and I think you're kind of giving yourself advice in that kind of statement is kind of like you know just go through the process yeah don't worry about it you will you'll find your way yeah and that's 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 decent enough advice for some of the kids now um, so let's go in the opposite direction. Let's project a little. So 10 years from now, so 2029, since it's going to be 20, 2019 in a week, um, what do you see yourself at? And what do you see the art scene being like on the wall? Oh man, um, my biggest goal recently has been uh, to push art and other artists to kind of um, move off island. Okay. Not to move, to live, but then they kind of just show that we have a specific, uh, you know what I mean, culture to kind of push out into the world. And I mean that we do have um, similarities with the rest of the world and um, our differences with the world and what makes us unique. Mm -hmm. Because um, you really, if you really travel out, there's, you know what I mean, um, there's a generic uh, idea of what an islander is. Okay. And, um, that's something that, that we're, we kind of lack around the world and yeah like yeah if you just travel out like they're pride by one but you know what I mean it's not enough I feel like it's not enough to kind of show that like our little little tiny islands are that, that they have culture they have their own struggles they have mm -hmm. and then the effects of what the world has on these um, little islands mm -hmm. and there's no voice yep. So that's kind of something that I will I'm um, trying to push, especially with Gax. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, gaining the confidence to actually start producing and kind of even I would talk to some guys that are uh, you know I mean that are moving up and kind of give them an idea of ideas that that were kind of uh, a little bit more personal, mm -hmm. so that, that that when we do have the the. <clears throat> The time to kind of move out, we have a very strong hold of what um, an idea of Guam should be, you know, especially specifically for Guam. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right on, right on. Some good pieces of advice, brother. Hopefully, we see gags like that, and hopefully, our artists kind of put their work out in the world. Um, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in to Mentor Asia Pacific. This is Effie Jan, I'm Avin Sanga, and we're signing out. Thank you very much.
Mentos. Thanks guys for tuning in to Mentor Asia Pacific. Once again, I'm Alvin Sangha. Check out all our social media that's going to be linked down below. Stay tuned, more mentors are going to come. Uh, we're going to be releasing a mentor every week. And please, please leave a comment down below for any mentors that you'd like to be featured on the channel. Any business professional, entrepreneur, or anybody that you believe is inspiring and can provide to be a mentor for the youth as well. Until next time, thank you very much. Sangha out.